Hello. Hello. Today we're celebrating something that happened about a year ago. I'm Liz Zorab. And I'm Mr J. And this is By the Farm. So Mr J and I met in 2012. Or was it 2011? No, it was 2012. It was the same year my mum died. Oh, right. Okay. And uh, and we moved in together in 2013. Yes. And pretty much from that moment onwards, Mr J has heard a monthly call, or even more regularly, of, will you marry me? <laughs> Can we get married? <laughs> Been a bit boring, I guess. Mm. <laughs> and Valentine's Day, on a leap year, she asked me that I had to buy her gloves. <sighs> beginning of 2020 one of the laws in the uk changed up to that point uh, same-sex couples could get married or have a civil partnership but mixed sex couples could only get married couldn't have a civil partnership and then they changed the law so it's fairer yes so um mr J said well he didn't, really didn't want to get married because between us we've got uh Three divorces. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think an odd number is about right. Yeah, I think you were cautious because mm. it, it, we didn't have hugely happy divorces. So I understood that you had some reticence to do that again. Mm-hmm. But he did say we could do a civil partnership. It gives which, us all the protections. Yeah. And um, without, I don't know. That sort of emotional baggage. Yep. And so we decided we'd do that, rang the local authority to find out how to do that, and they said you need to bring in various different forms, and it took us about a month to find all the bits of paperwork. And And then lockdown happened. (laughs) Yeah, literally. I rang to say, we found all the paperwork, and they said, well, we're going into lockdown tomorrow, so you'll have to wait. So we waited now, if you've read Liz's book, Grounded, you'll know that towards the end of it, uh, there's a little piece where it says, we left the small holding, went to a nearby-ish town and swapped a few vows. And that was about a year ago. At the time, we told a handful of friends and our family, and we weren't allowed to have very many people to the ceremony, so it In was just... In fact, I think we were only allowed two people there other than ourselves and the officiant. So uh, my sister and her husband were our witnesses and we took a couple of photos. At one point my sister took a couple of photos and we just went home, had a cup of tea and a slice of cake and then got on with our day. And we decided that we would, well, we'd wait a little while to do a celebration. So we're going to do that celebration today. At the time, uh, my daughter very kindly sent us a tree and this is a wedding cake tree so it grows in layers alternate layers and hopefully over the years it will turn into a well rather than just this (laughs) little thing will turn into something very beautiful and what I thought was it might be a really nice place to plant it sort of here so that when we come in through our gates This is what we can see as we look down the driveway. So, uh, gloves on. As I mentioned, I had to buy these gloves because she proposed to me on Valentine's Day one year. (laughs) In a leap year. (laughs) I didn't say I bought her fancy gloves. (laughs) So, um, I think just this side of this lovely dustbin that we've got holding uh, poles of... Right. I'm trying to actually get that into the ground but failing dismally if we can dig a hole well, where that there, thing was standing well maybe this side of it but it will be a case of whatever ground we can actually dig in the soil in this area is very very stony so uh, away you go darling i might have known it was be me <laughs> <laughs> oh this reminds me of when we first moved into the last place. Yes, it is It is really similar to... <sighs> well, I know this is where I wanted it, but I not mean that where it's going to end up. 
There we go. Hooray. Am I getting a cup of coffee after this? Yes. Even better. You can even have lunch after Ooh. this. She must love me. I do love you. There, see, and I said it on camera, so it must be true. I was just about to say, this is not being played up for the camera. Right, let's just give this a go and see. Oh my goodness me, it actually went in. Now, I actually just seen something very interesting there. What have you seen? I've seen a worm. A worm? There. Oh, wow. Right, so there really haven't been very many worms here, darling. Can no. you move the um, horsefly that's trying to bite me? Where is it? Around my head somewhere. I think I just moved it. Okay, so that's looking, that looks like it's pretty much level with the, the soil. So now we can just pop that back in. Horseflies can leave me alone. And then it needs a drink. And then I'll, I will put down some weed suppressing paper yeah um or card but probably paper around it and mulch over that uh, to keep the the weeds from it mm -hmm. i'll go and grab a drink well, i know i have to stand out of the way of this one because it uh, uh it spills everywhere doesn't it's it? got a couple of cracks in it well maybe next valentine's day you can buy me a new <sighs> nozzle watering can <laughs> We know how to live at large. Thing is though, we do actually have an agreement that things like kitchen implements and garden implements really aren't presents. They aren't, and we also don't do Valentine's Day no. really, <laughs> do we? So, uh, on the grounds that I'm quite happy to love you and express that I love you every day of the year. So there's our tree, it's just settling in now. I'll bring out some mulch and do that and then hopefully in years to come uh, you'll see this as it grows and grows and it looks out over the veg garden there. I'm really pleased with mm. it. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and I also hope you'll join us again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.